for a system at equilibrium phase rule which we will study in great detail in chemical engineering thermodynamics states that f is equal to c minus p plus 2 where f is degrees of freedom like pressure temperature concentration in each phase c number of compound p number of phases following inferences are common from phase rule to all systems involving the distribution of substances in the two insoluble phases namely c is equal to that is number of compounds are 3 number of phases are 2 so degrees of freedom are 3 at constant temperature and pressure f is equal to 1 that is concentration in one phase fixes concentration in another phase at equilibrium the concentration in the two phases are not equal instead the chemical potential of the solute is the same in both the phases and it is equality of all chemical potentials not a concentration which causes the net transfer of solute to stop equilibrium and equality of chemical potentials are major topics of chemical engineering thermodynamics and we accept the concept of equality of chemical potential and not a concentration at equilibrium and proceed further. To get around this problem, Lewis and Whitman assume that the only diffusional resistances are those residing in the fluid themselves. There is then no resistance to solute transfer across the interface separating the phases and as a result concentrations yi and xi are equilibrium values given by systems equilibrium distribution curve the various concentration can also be shown graphically whose coordinates are those of the equilibrium curve point p represents the bulk phase concentration having dimensions coordinates of xl and yag point m represents the interface concentration of xi and yi for steady state mass transfer, the rate at which A reaches the interface from the gas phase must be equal to the rate at which A diffuses to the bulk liquid so that neither accumulation nor depletion of A at the interface takes place. Therefore, the two phases are assumed to be in equilibrium at all the points in the interface. The extreme difficulty in the physical measurement of the partial pressure and concentration in the interface makes it necessary to employ overall mass transfer co correlations where what we have defined two more terms that is Na equal to capital Kg into bracket Pag minus Pa star. Pag is a partial pressure of A in the bulk gas phase that is dimensions are of the pressure. P A star is the partial pressure of A in equilibrium with the bulk liquid concentration C A L with the dimension of pressure. Capital K G is the overall mass transfer coefficient in gas phase. Similarly, N A equal to capital K L into bracket C A star minus C A L. C A star is concentration of A in the liquid phase in equilibrium with the P A G and CAL is the concentration of A in the bulk liquid, capital KL is the overall mass transfer coefficient in the liquid phase. Now the same thing we have represented here in the various equation form that Na is equal to small kg into the bracket PAG minus PAI. This is the same thing is equal to capital KG into the bracket PAG minus PA star. So, rewriting the whole thing, what we can get PAG minus PAI divided by PAG minus PA star is equal to 1 over small kg, the whole thing divided by 1 over big kg. That is equivalent to what? Gas phase resistance divided by overall resistance. So, this is represented as delta PA gas side divided by delta P A overall. For liquid phase we can write Na equal to small k l into the bracket C A i minus C A l 
this is equal to capital K L into the bracket C A L star minus C A L. Now same thing can be rewritten again that C A I minus C A L divided by C A L star minus C A L is equal to ratio of one over small K L divided by one over big K L. This is equal to liquid phase resistance. Divided by overall resistance, this is equal to delta C A liquid side divided by delta C A. If we have a linear equilibrium relation in operating range, we can write P A I is equal to M C A I, P A G equal to M C A L star, and P A star is equal to M C A L. Assuming that the numerical value of K G and K L. are roughly the same the importance of the slope of the equilibrium curve can be readily demonstrated if m is small that is the equilibrium distribution curve is flat so that at equilibrium only a small concentration of a in the gas phase will provide large concentration in the liquid implying solute a is very soluble in liquid the term m by kl becomes minor the major resistance is represented by 1 over small kg and it is said that the rate of mass transfer is gas phase control in the extreme it becomes 1 over capital kg becomes approximately equal to 1 over small kg and pag minus p star is equal to pag minus pai under such circumstances even fairly large percentage change in small kl will not significantly affect kg and efforts to increase the rate of mass transfer would best be directed toward the decreasing gas phase resistance that is increasing small kg conversely if m is large that is solute a is relatively insoluble in liquid with kg and kl roughly the same at equilibrium only a small concentration of a in liquid phase will provide large concentration in the gas phase corollary of the equation a 1 over capital kg is equal to 1 over small kg plus m over small kl One kg will be smaller than kg or kl by m. Two kg will be nearer to smaller of small kg or kl by m. Example: Let kg be one and kl by m equal to twenty. So kg is equal to point nine five two four. Example one: In a mass transfer apparatus. operating at one atmosphere the individual mass transfer coefficients have the following values kx is equal to 22 kg mole per square meter per hour at delta x equal to 1 similarly ky equal to 1.07 kg mole per square meter per hour at delta y equal to 1 the equilibrium composition of the gaseous and liquid phases are characterized by henry's law that is p star is equal to 0.88 multiplied by 10 raised to 6 into x millimeter hg one determine the overall mass transfer coefficient capital kx and capital ky how many time the diffusional resistance of the liquid phase differ that of the gaseous phase data given kx equal to 22 kg mole per square meter per hour at delta x equal to 1 this is equal to small kl and ky is equal to 1.07 kg mole per square meter per hour at delta y equal to 1 is equal to small kg P star is equal to m m multiplied by c. 
This is equal to 0.88 into 10 raised to 6 multiplied by x millimeter as g. Now p star is equal to 105.26 multiplied by x atmosphere. So rather than writing in millimeter as g, we are writing in terms of atmospheres, where m is equal to 105.26. Now writing the values, equation 1 over capital KL is equal to 1 over small kl plus 1 over m multiplied by small kg. So, 1 over capital kl is equal to 1 by 22 plus 1 divided by 105.26 multiplied by 1.07. The whole thing becomes equal to 0 0.0539. So, kl is 18.55 kg mole per square meter per hour. Similarly, 1 over capital kg is equal to 1 over small kg plus m divided by small kl. So, 1 over capital kg is equal to 1 divided by 1.07 plus 105.26 divided by 22. So, we get the answer as a 5.715. So, capital Kg is equal to 0.175 Kg mole per square meter per hour. Now, question second, resistance in liquid phase divided by resistance in gas phase that is Rx over Ry is equal to 0 0.0539 divided by 5.715. So, equal to 0 0.0094. It is important to understand immense value of numerical problem. It helps us in understanding practical value of various equations, interrelationship between various terms and its utilization in deriving various values. It also helps us to evaluate and compare numerical values and decide which are of significance.